Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So, the um, Royals did pretty well last last battle. They did a uh, defend base mission. We picked up some good gear. Uh, actually, surprisingly good roll. And we got all the mechs back. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. It is a little later in the month than I wanted it to be, but we're still okay money-wise. And um, we've got an opportunity to pull off this mission plus the Royals mission this month. So we should make our money back okay. So have a quick look in the mech bay. Uh, the Spectre's back. Now the only thing we changed on this one is that instead of putting the um, ER small laser back in, I put a flamer in. Thinking this is going to help out with um, keeping things uh, overheated as we go along. I think I want to run that route with these guys. We picked up a mech pilot. Um, if you didn't watch the Royals episode, the very first thing we did was advance the time timeline because I forgot to do that, do that in the last episode. And we did pick up a mech pilot. Um, so uh, if we go to the uh, barracks real quick, her call signs China doll. Uh, not not very good skills at the moment, um, only because um, she was like completely novice when we got her. But she's actually got half decent uh, abilities. So bonus evasion, bonus ECM, bonus initiative. So that should be good. Minus one accuracy, but we can deal with that later on down the road. I'm gonna put a point into tactics Mech warrior training currently. All right, so uh, let's go down to Vengeance. Yes, Commander. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put a point. That's not going to help us. Uh, we're going to put a point into piloting. Increase our melee. Training. Confirm that. And that's it. So we do have a mission in the command center. The hatchetman's still the same. Um, I did outfit the Royals slightly different. Uh, between episodes that you can check out in the next episode of the Royals, but uh, let's get into this one right now. It's a trial of possession, and it's against uh, the planetary government. Uh, it's for Jade Falcon, so not a big deal. As long as it's not against Clan Wolf, we're, we're good. We're going to go full salvage on this one. So it's a one skull. I'm not sure what to expect. We, we might get something that's um, uh, relatively easy, or we might end up with something that's crazy. So hopefully we end up with something that's a little crazier. Just to, to uh, test us out. Now that we're getting a little bit of skill and stuff here. Um, six missions in. All right, let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. At least we're not fighting in the dark this time. I feel a tremor. Like there's creatures living beneath the surface. Yeah, there is. They're called graboids. My God, I can't... I can't. I still remember watching Tremors, the very first one, the Kevin with Kevin on Bacon and everything, way way back. I think it was in the 80s, late 80s, was when the first one came out, and it was like when I heard that the the uh, creatures the under the sand were called graboids, it was like what? Who the fuck named them graboid? What the hell? Oh, that's an assassin. That's an assassin. I'm receiving you. I was thinking there for a second it might have been an exterminator, but because I know the exterminator uses the same model, I'm going to move up and get Double in the time. trees because this Let's guy's got—I think he's got the ability to, to, to detect me. So we're going to get in the trees. He's got half decent movement. He doesn't, eh? Thy will be done. What do you think? Do we just sick him? Yeah, because we've already learned that we can't get into melee range from there. And I don't think the assassin is that well laid out as far as weaponry goes. Right? Energy and a missile. I'm trying to remember what it has. It's been a while. I thought it was like a... Is it a large laser and a, and a, a SRM or a LRM? Or, I don't know. Find out here in a second. Let's hammer him. Yo, what's up? I'm right here, motherfucker. Whew. Say goodbye to your armor on the left, on the left, the left side. Back strike. No. Really? Really. Standing by. I'm getting disappointed. I gotta say, I'm disappointed with the uh, at the enemy's play. I can't kick him. Okay. I was hoping to take the leg, but. Do we just murder him? Do 
35% chance to hit. What's it from here? Still the same. 42 from the front, apparently. I can kick him from the front, but I can't use my weapon. I can't kick him from the side. How is it calculating this? Oh, I see. Because I'm lower than him, it won't let me kick. But I can use my upper body. If I'm above him, my weapon might be too high. But I can, but I can somehow punch him? If the weapon's on my arm, how the hell can I use my weapon? Distance, maybe? And that's just a kick, because I'm, I'm a lot higher. Still trying to figure this out. A little weird. But why... Do I have a better chance to attack from the front? The weapons drop at the... Ah, whatever. Physical weapon. Attack from the side. Right here. Physical weapon. Let's go. We've got the axe. Might as well use it. See if it lands. Nope. Weapons. As far as I'm concerned, they should up the chance to hit for melee if they're going to use it and drop the, uh, so pulse laser and SR SRM? <laughs> and laugh at your puny attack. They should increase the chance to hit with their melee weapon, maybe drop the damage slightly, and, and then don't let you, uh, wait, yeah, that's the right side. Kick. Let's go. Yeah, so increase Locked the chance on. to, to hit back. with the melee weapon, like that shot. but not be able to fire any of the other weapons with it. Just to give you the incentive to use it. Because I'm more, I'm more, right now I'm more incentivized to use the kick attack than I am the weapon. You know? But, th but then again, this is a duelist series, so, I mean, if I wasn't, if there was greater things at stake, then yeah, probably I'd be using the melee weapon. I'm your spaniel. Alright, let's see if we can get that other leg. Can I get a kick off on that side? I can. Is that a side strike? That's a front. I can't get to his side. Uh, but what I can do... What I can do... That's into flames. Mmm... That'll give me more evasion. Let's get up here. And then what we can do... is use a little bit of that. Go after the leg. Come on, bail out. This just in. Critical hit. You know what makes the, the assassin better is um, some kind of stealth system, you know? I'm here. All right, we don't have the ability to melee him. Not like this, but we can get up here. Look, Mom, I'm flying. <laughs> I love this. I love the voice system, the, the uh, voice for this guy. It's awesome. All right, firing on this guy here. Come on, bail out. Engine crit, nice. He knows what I want to do. I live to serve. Can't kick him though. Do we end it? Ah man, we're so close. Um, let's do this. Onward. We'll get our stability back. 
Got some OP accuracy or OP left, so let's go for it. See if we can get that leg. Come on, bailout. The Cobra strike. All right, that might give us the chance. I await your command. Don't think I can hit the leg. It's so weird that I can... Melee is so weird. I can turn and attack him and be face on this way if I melee him, but not if I try to sprint over there and shoot him. It's it's just baffling to me how... I'm not, okay, I'm not knocking the programming. The programming's fantastic, don't get me wrong. Rogue Tech's amazing. It's just that it's confusing sometimes when I'm like, that. I think I can get around him and attack him, but I can't. You know what I mean? So, that's all. That's my only, that's my only beef. Let's go after that leg. Okay, we got one pulse hit. Bunch of machine gun hits. Ooh, that hit something good. Yeah, this guy doesn't stand much chance. I mean, he's gonna just overheat. I'm ready. Um. Let's do this. Then we're gonna do this. Yeah, nice. He couldn't drop the heat, so my goal was to just... I was planning on just to keep hitting him with the Infernos just to keep him, like, his heat going up because he can't drop it. And then eventually he would either shut down or just bail out, and he bailed out, so perfect. Mission successful. All right, so that worked out okay. 86,000, nice. We, made a, we took a little bit of damage, but not much. We didn't lose any components either, so that's good. Glad I had the jump jets on that one. Now, 280 core, we should probably maybe grab that or an assassin part or 280 core, probably. If we get the assassin parts, great. Uh, but I would rather have a bigger core, I think. So LRM5 and a medium pulse laser. That's not much of a... Not much of a duel. Alright, confirm that. So we got the two assassin parts, beautiful. We can sell the armor. We can sell the excess jump jets because we got launched. If standard fusion core can go, structure can go. We made a few seabulls off that too, so that's that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Alright, no damage at all. Perfect. Alright, so that was too simple. Now, um, that being said, I'm going to wait the one day just to see if anything happens with that pilot. Uh, okay, those are done. And so there is the ability to get the bondsman. Um, but do we want an extra one? I'm going to say no. Uh, just because our bursts are full now, right? Um, so, like if we go to the barracks, since we picked up the last bondsman, our bursts are full. Now, we got Sourbug here that's just sort of sitting. That's not... You. He's like the additional extra pilot, but now... Uh, Raggio's like basically sitting here so I mean we could ditch him and see if we can pick up a bondsman but I would rather n not because if the bondsman actually end up being like this then that's a lot of work to get them up and running whereas this guy's got at least some half decent uh, uh, ability to get some experience or have it at least we can have an experienced pilot what we do need though is another vehicle pilot more than anything because even though we got the Zoria, we don't have the ability to field it yet. So I'm going to have to lose a pilot. Uh, let's see. Hiring hall real quick. I don't think there's any... There's Minotaur. Okay, so the pilots down here look like they're changing. Or am I mistaken? I think I'm mistaken. Good to go. Yeah, these guys were here before. Standing by. Nobility. Um... 
Yeah, we'd have to jump off the planet and come back, and that's a long... That's a long distance to go. Hello, Commander. Good to see you. Right, so if we jump, we're talking... How many days? 28 there. 25 there. So it's just like... I mean, we could go to Vinton, though. Could go to Vinton. It's Diamond Shark, though. We were, we're trying to work on Wolf right now. We just don't have the juice. Is this a uh, flashpoint? Limited gladiator combat medium. Four skull. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> we'll get right on that one. Uh, this is Wolf over here, too. Uh, there is... We can filter here. I keep forgetting that, that there's the ability to filter these. So let's filter by half. Takes a second here. And we'll see what uh, how many half skull planets are. There's not very many. So it's mostly these abandoned worlds down here that have got our half skull. Right? And then if we go one, I don't think there's any one skull in clan space. I know there's a one and a half. It's sad that there's only like a handful of worlds. Yeah, none in clan space. And then one and a half. I think there's one. Which is this one right here. Yeah, it's just a one. And then anything at two skull. So it's like we'd have to basically spend a month's worth of income way down here. How far away is that? 63 days. All right, well. So the my only real uh, thing is what I should probably do is have a look here really quick. Um, uh, where's the settings? Here we go. So what we should do is, what do we have to set that? Contact variance one. Let's go to two so we end up with some one and a half skull missions because if we can pick up a one and a half skull um, duel, we might do that. We'll save it, and we'll see how it goes over the next few episodes to see if that makes a big difference. Now I'm going to be recording Royals back-to-back -back with this one, so there won't be any one and a half skulls available, but maybe next month. Um, did I actually save that? Maybe next month we'll have the ability to, um, to pull that off. Did I save it? I did. Okay, good. Um, all right. So I think that's it for this one today. I was really short. I was hoping for something more there, but it was against the locals, so I can't expect to be tough mechs. It's only when we get against the, a, an actual clan that there's a chance for us to uh, have, like, you know, a really bad time. Um, so I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.